name is Dhanushree and I am from Marine Engineering College, Trivandrum. Here I am uh, up with the desalination of seawater process. Uh, here I am using the sump filter mechanism for this process. This system is divided into nine chambers and with eight modes of filtration. The first system is filled with the river sand and rises in this. The water is inleted through this system and the water seeps into this and gets filtered with the uh, so chlorine and the particulate matters in the seawater. The water enters the second chamber through the holes in this uh, dividing uh, glass and it enters the second chamber. The second chamber is filled with the coir and the coir removes the sodium and the magnesium salts in it. it the water gets overflowed and comes to the next layer. Next chamber is filled with coconut uh, uh, shell pieces and coconut shell pieces can absorb the halogens uh, and get filtered with the halogens. It comes uh, to the bottom and it get, enters the next chamber. It is filled with peanut uh, peanut shells. Peanut shell can remove the copper metal ions in the seawater. It uh, gets overflowed and comes to the next chamber. It is the bamboo fiber pieces. Bamboo fiber pieces absorbs the sodium and uh, in the bamboo fibers when uh, dried and powdered can also be used as the bamboo salt which is already used in the other countries. It get, comes down and it get, enters the next chamber filled with the clay pot pieces. Clay pot pieces uh, absorbs the contaminants and uh, leaves the water to the next chamber. Next chamber is filled with the uh, neem leaves. Uh, neem leaves can uh, act as an antioxidant and, and can remove the toxic elements in the seawater. It comes to the next chamber. It is uh, with activated carbon. Activated carbon can absorb the organic compounds in the seawater uh, and it comes up with and uh, goes to the jute. Jute absorbs if any color is produced with any of the chambers and jute uh, absorbs these dyes and gives the water to the next chamber. It is the porous stone. Porous stone absorbs the very fine particles. It is already uh, tested in the lab and we have the result that it absorbs around 60% of the salinity and 56% uh, in the hardness and the pH is same as that of the pure water.